Why would a man of sound mind and body decide to inject himself with a three and a half million year old virus that he found in the Siberian mountains? Not any man, but a man of science and understanding. One day, this insane academic decided to load up a syringe of the ancient bacteria and inject himself with it. Why? What would compel such a person to do such a thing? Well, the scientist in question, Anatoly Brushkov, figured that whatever had kept those bacteria alive for three and a half million years might also keep human life alive just as long. And since 2009, his plan has succeeded. And what's more, Brushkov has been in the best health he has ever been in. Today, we look deep into the science behind that old virus in order to find out exactly what is going on. In this episode of The Infographic Show, why would a scientist inject himself with a three and a half million year old bacteria? Anatoly Brushkov, head of the geocryology department at Moscow State University, discovered the bacteria in 2009. The virus was embedded in an ancient permafrost site called Mammoth Mountain in the Saka Republic, otherwise known as the Yakusha region in Siberia. A similar bacterium was found by scientist Vladimir Repin in the brain of an ice-preserved woolly mammoth. Although the virus was trapped in the ice, it was still alive at after all those years, and this is of interest to many scientists. What has kept it alive for so long? Brushkov and his team were determined to find out. Experiments began. Mice injected with Bacillus F were able to reproduce at an age older than regular mice typically reproduce, suggesting that Bacillus F may have potential as a longevity serum. But the experiments didn't stop with pregnant granny rodents. Oh no, Brushkov also experimented with fruit flies with positive results. Even plants exposed to the bacteria thrived for an unusually long length of time. Brushkov confirmed in an interview for Russian TV that he needed to extend the experiment to human subjects, namely himself. Since injecting himself with the virus, his general health and well-being have improved dramatically. I've started to work longer, he said. I haven't had the flu for the last two years. After successful experiments on mice and fruit flies, I thought it would be interesting to try the inactivated bacterial culture. The scientist continued, the permafrost is thawing, and I guess these bacteria get into the environment, into the water, so the local population, the Yakut people in fact, for a long time are getting these cells with water and even seem to live longer than some other nations. So there was no danger for me, but we do not know how it works. In fact, we do not know exactly how aspirin works, for example, but it does. The same is true here. We cannot understand the mechanism, but we see the impact. Perhaps there were some side effects, but there should be some special medical equipment to spot them. Of course, such experiments need to be conducted in a clinic, with special equipment and statistics. Then we could say clearly about all the effects. If we find how the bacteria stay alive, we probably would be able to find a tool to extend our own lives. Yakutsk epidemiologist Dr. Viktor Chernyavsky added, the bacteria gives out biologically active substances throughout its life, which activates the immune status of experimental animals. If the same substance were to be given to people, it could cause a significant improvement in their health, leading to the discovery of an elixir of life. So by making himself the human guinea pig in this experiment, Brushkov hopes to find out more about longevity. And who knows, in the process, he may end up becoming one of the oldest scientists himself. Three different strains of bacteria exist in the permafrost, and Brushkov is determined to find out how the bacteria protect themselves against cell damage. Brushkov speculates that immortal bacteria probably exist somewhere in the world, and that such bacteria protect themselves from dying. Somewhere within the virus, he feels, the secret must be hidden. His team has completed deciphering the Bacillus FDNA, but now faces the complicated task of figuring out which genes are responsible for the longevity of the virus. The isolation of this gene would be the key to unlocking the puzzle, perhaps to eternal life. But even if he doesn't find the secret of everlasting life, Brushkov has stumbled into a remarkable new field. Discovering the mechanism behind the vitality of the virus could have significant health implications for humankind. If we can find how the bacteria stays alive, then we will be able to find the cure to prolong our own life. Brushkov concluded, Brushkov isn't the only scientist experimenting with ancient bacteria. For years, scientists have been examining the bacteria from the Siberian mountains and beyond. There's still much to learn about viruses and the hundreds of protein encoding genes. Scientists are always looking to nature for clues as to how to improve human health. In February 2018, an article published by the New Atlas magazine looked at the mole rat. This mammal lives well into its 30s and it's pretty much immune to all types of cancer and can do without oxygen for long lengths of time. 
Perhaps if scientists can pull apart the cell structure of this mammal, a secret to its longevity may be unraveled. There are bound to be, as Brushkov suggests, many more secrets out there in nature. These secrets may lead to humankind living a much longer and healthier life. So, what's the strangest and most unlikely cure that you have heard of? Are there alternative treatments for cancer that actually work? Does the secret to longevity exist in a frozen virus or in a ground-dwelling rodent? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, be sure to watch our other video called Horrible Things That Will Happen in 2019. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!